in previous video I created an, a wireframe kit as um, my item so in this video I will explain how to create an item variant so item variant is basically a version of an item with a different attributes like the same item such as we have a mobile phone we can take an example of the mobile phone it's like the best example so a mobile phone can be available in different colors or it can be of different size so those are like the variants example okay so let's create a item variant for this particular product over here i'll just go down over here okay now i'll click on this has variants so the variant can be based on either item attribute or it can be based on a manufacturer okay now i'll go with item attribute right now now what on what basis do you want to create an item variant for so i'll just for the sake of an example i'll choose a color as my attribute okay i'll just save it and then you you can notice over here that it is now a template so it is a template because i have created a variant for it all right now i'll just quickly create a single variant for it so let's say i want a red color i'll just create and yes so over here you can see that this item is a variant of wireframe kit which means that this is a wireframe kit which comes in red color all right and i'll just save it and then we can see okay so for this for this particular variant i can add an item price also so wait i'll just go and add item price for it standard selling dollars let's say the rate i am saying that it is of 45 dollars save it and then you also need to make a changes regarding its display on the website okay because it's not available on website yes yet unless and until you make the changes that is show in website and then you can add a, a, an image for this wireframe kit also like this variant i'll just save it and we'll see on the website let's have a look at it okay so this is wireframe kit red is now available on the website so this is how you create a variant so i hope you understood it and so in next video i'll explain to you about the attributes so about the attribute filter over here so we can add that also